Good morning. This is Kasturi De. Today I'll continue with the measurement of the volume quant, uh, the first chapter of the physics according to ICC syllabus, that is physical quantities and measurement. So uh, I'll continue with that chapter according to ICC syllabus. Okay. Uh, so the first topic which I'm going to discuss today is measurement of volume on a liquid, of a liquid. It's used for measuring the volume of a liquid. A measuring cylinder is used, which is this is used generally in the laboratory. Okay, so uh, first we take a measuring cylinder. It's washed with water and dried. Then we place that measuring cylinder on a flat surface. Okay, and then we pour the given liquid uh, completely. Okay. given liquid which is there poured it completely and gently so that no liquid splashes out of the cylinder now the uh, time given it's some time is given to the liquid so that the liquid uh, becomes stationary no no shaking of the liquid is there and the liquid in the cylinder settles down then we note the upper surface that is the meniscus okay this is called the meniscus the layer of the upper surface so we note down that level so for example here it's 70 ml okay now the level of the liquid is read by keeping your eye horizontal just in line with that meniscus okay this uh, lower level not this upper two levels but the lower level which is touching the graduations so at uh, the eye should be kept at this level and uh, the note uh, the level is noted okay this will give the volume of the given liquid next by using a beaker we can also find the fixed volume of the liquid okay here uh, from a large volume if we take some uh, small volume of uh, liquid we can do this by a measuring beaker suppose 500 of ml of milk is is to be is to measured from the bucket of milk from uh, we we have been given a bucket of milk and from that we have to take out 500 ml of milk so how can we do we take a measuring beaker wash it with water and dry it the beaker is then the measuring beaker Uh, is immersed inside the milk and then we uh, inside the milk bucket so that the beaker gets completely filled with the milk uh, milk then the measuring beaker is taken out gently so that no milk splashes out okay now the milk from the measuring beaker is poured into an another empty vessel the measuring beaker should be of 500 ml so that it's uh, container uh, that means the five uh, the quantity of the uh, milk is measured from the whole bucket of milk now measurement of the volume of a regular object now first we take the three dimensions that is length breadth and height or radius are we uh, note down those measure those okay then the measurements are used in the following relation what is that volume of a if it is a cube the object the regular object is a cube then the volume will be one side all the sides in the cube all the sides are same so length breadth and height will be the same so volume of the cube will be one side cube if it is a cuboid the object if is a cuboid shaped then the three the readings of the length breadth and height will be different so we multiply all the three then volume of a sphere if it is a sphere then we take the radius we take note down the radius of the sphere and we multiply the radius cube that is radius multiplied three times into uh, 4 pi by 3 this will be the formula 4 pi by 3 into radius cube cube if it is a cylinder then then we multiply uh, we multiply the radius square that is radius uh, multiplied by radius twice 
and then we multiply the radius square into height and with pi. Now volume of a cone. If it is a if the object is a cone, then we multiply the radius twice, that is radius square, into its height, into the height of the cone, and into pi by three. The what's the value of the pi? It's three point one four or twenty two by seven. This will be the formula. Okay. Please memorize so that you can. Uh, solve the numericals in the later stage now measurements of the volume of a of an irregular object okay so this is measured by a measuring cylinder this is measured by the method of displacement of liquid okay the body occupies uh, what will what is the method here the body occupies the space equal to its own volume okay inside the liquid inside a water or uh, any liquid where the uh, regular object is immersed now we'll see later what happens therefore irregular shaped body when immersed in a liquid displaces the volume of the liquid equal to its own volume to occupy its space this is the logic it uh, is applied here so volume of an irregular shaped body is equal to volume of the liquid displaced by the body when immersed completely in the liquid for this what happens we take a measuring cylinder and pour some liquid in it okay so we take now we note down the level of the liquid for example it's v1 okay now we uh, take the irregular object and totally immerse inside that measuring cylinder in the, inside that liquid okay now again we note down the uh, volume note down the level that for example if it is v2 let's say v2 so the final level minus the initial level that is v2 minus v1 will be the volume of the irregular body of that irregular body that is v3 okay so note the volume of an empty vessel like a bottle will is equal to filling it completely with water pouring the water in a clean measuring cylinder how can we em, uh, empty vessel how can we note the volume of an empty vessel okay we if we pour some water inside that empty vessel and that water is poured in the when that quant that amount of water okay that particular amount of water is again poured into the measuring cylinder and we note down the volume of the water so that will be the volume of the empty vessel okay now we come to area is the surface occupied by an object is the area its si unit is meter square that is area of the square of side 1 meter that is 1 meter into 1 meter is meter square this is a small unit bigger units are square or decameter or uh, r or hectare okay or square kilometer what is an r it's a area of a square with each side of 10 meters one r is equal to 10 meter into 10 meter that is 100 meter square one hectare it is area of the square with each side of 100 meters like 1 hectare is equal to 100 meter into 100 meter that is 10000 meter square 100 r r is equal to 10 to the power 4 meter square okay then 1 square kilometer that is km square kilometer square that is equal to area of the square with each side measuring 1 kilometer 1 kilometer is equal to 1 kilometer square is equal to 1 kilometer to 1 kilometer that is 1000 meters 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter we know it that 10000 meter into 1000 meter that is equal to 10 to the power 6 meter square so 1 kilometer square is equal to 10 to the power 6 meter square to express the area of small object this is of the bigger objects a small objects like a pencil rubber etc these are small objects so for that smaller units are used for example square centimeter 
that is 1 centimeter square that is equal to 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter or 1 by 100 meters into 1 by 100 meters that is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 meter square then square millimeters or millimeter square 1 millimeter square is equal to 1 millimeter into 1 millimeter that is 1 by 1000 meters into 1 by 1000 meters or 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so uh, I'll continue with the uh, next uh, part of this chapter. In the, my next video, please go through the first, this video and the first video of this chapter. And if you have any doubt, please do write in the comment box. I assure you to reply as soon as possible. Okay. And if you like the video, please do press the like button and please subscribe to get the notification of my next video. Thank you.